two franchises, once proud franchises, trying to turn around a losing culture. The Bucks took a small step in that direction with their win over the San Francisco 49ers. They snapped a four-game losing skid, saving face and possibly saving the season. Shoot, when we, we made all of our kicks, we got two takeaways and we didn't turn it over. Man, life is good. That's the object of the game is to win and, you know, uh, we've been you know, we all, all we can do is hang in there. That's all you can do is you, you gotta you gotta keep coming to work. And the, uh, hats off to all the guys in that room right there, all the players, you know, for uh, for for hanging with it and continuing to battle. The challenge that we have mentally and physically in this great game of football is tough. Uh, but we, like I said, we've been playing this game for a long time since we've been kids. So we always got to play for something. We always got to chase uh, the dream, whether it's uh, making it in the playoffs, whether it's one win at a time. Some Bucks making history in this game. Jason Pierre-Paul became the first Bucks defender since 2005 to record double-digit sacks. And Mike Evans became the NFL's youngest wide receiver with his fifth straight 1,000-yard season. But more important than any individual glory, the Bucks got a team win. And with it, they kept their slim chances of making the postseason alive. Reporting from Raymond James Stadium, Katherine Smith, Spectrum, Bay News 9.